today we're going to talk about Burns, how to calculate the body surface area using the rule of nines, as well as how to fluid resuscitate the patient using the Parkland formula. So with Burns, you have your partial thickness burns and your full thickness burns. You also have your circumferential burns, your thermal burns, your chemical burns, your electrical burns, and your smoke inhalation burns. Rule of nines. Your arms are 4.5% each, and on the back they're 4.5, so together they're 9% anterior and posteriorly. Your trunk is 18% anterior, 18% posterior. Your head is 4.5% anterior and 4.5%, so again, 9. So you have 9, 9, 9, 9, 18, 9, 9. That's where the rules of 9s come into play. And based on that, you calculate your practical formula. So to calculate total body surface area, it's a percentage. So as I said, the front will be 9, the back will be 9. For the legs, the legs are bigger than the arms, so that's how I remember that. And the face is 9, front is 4.5, back is 4.5. So moving on to that, we have, let's say William sustained full thickness burns to the bilateral legs, both anteriorly and posteriorly. So you have 9 here, 9 in the back, that's 18, and another 18. So you have 36% for the legs. My perineum counts as 1%. So that's 1. And my lower abdomen, half of 18, is 9. It's 46. It's 9. So we have 46% of the burns. Now, the goal is to give fluids to the patient because one, you want to prevent hypovolemia, hypervolemic, hypovolemic shock, and you want to prevent hyperkalemia. Both complications of burns that can cause dysrhythmias and ultimately death of the patient. You don't want to do that, either you want to try to assess the patient. So the Parkland formula is very simple. You want it, the, the amount of fluid you're going to use, it's isotonic fluid you're going to use. And that isotonic fluid is lactated ringers. This is because lactated ringers is a fluid volume expander. So if you're in hypovolemic shock, it means you're not getting the volume, you give lactated ringers, it gives the volume expander, it kind of gets the patient out of shock. So to do that, you're going to need that total body surface area here, as well as the weight of the patient. Our patient, William, weighs 76 kilograms. If the weight is given to you in pounds, you first have to convert it to kilograms by dividing the weight in pounds by 2.2. And that will give you your weight in kilograms. This nurse already did it for us. The triage nurse, she's awesome. She did it for us, 76 kilograms. So we're gonna plug in our total body surface area into, and our kilograms, and times it by four. So we're gonna get our total. So we get four times 76 times 46. 13,984. Which is 13,984 milliliters. And then for the first half, you divide your total amount into two, which is? 6,992. 6,992 milliliters. And then again, that's with hours one to eight. Hours 9 to 16, you're going to divide this number, that first eight hours, in half again. So you're going to get 3496. 3496. And then for the 30 hours, so hours 16 to 24, it's the same number here. It's 3496. You add them all together, you should get your total number, depending if you round or not. So that's the Parkland formula. Now, Let's say you have to put that into the pump. So for the first one, you're going to do 6992. You're going to divide it by 8. And you're going to get your hourly rate 874. of 874 milliliters an hour. Remember, it's going to be a fast rate. You want a fluid resuscitate that patient. Those fluids need to go in fast for that patient so you can maintain homeostasis. You can prevent an electrolyte imbalance, as well as all the other complications associated with burns. Now, for the second eight hours, 3496 divided by 8, 
437. It's going to be 437. Now you can even divide this in half, but do it step by step. Don't confuse yourself. Because when you confuse yourself, that's when things go wrong. And it's the same here. So yes, you will change your rate of infusion after hour eight. Uh, after this, like 24 hours pass by, and you need to continuously fluid resuscitate the patient, you will do two to four mLs, depending on what's ordered, per kilogram, per total body surface area.